All right, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. Today we're gonna to be shooting a video on how to patch a quarter panel. All right, so the first step to repair a quarter panel that has rust in it or damage is to cut out the affected area. I've done that with my uh, four and a half inch grinder with a cutoff wheel. I went and I cut out all the, uh, the rust here. Um, this had an older repair on it that had been done in the 50s. This car is uh, made in 1938. And if you wanna know more about it, you can go to the Thomas Rocket Car Series and watch the uh, restoration videos I've been doing on this car. But this is gonna be pretty much the same thing for any type of car. You're gonna have your quarter panel sheet metal, you're gonna have your, your rocker panel structure and your wheel well. So this is all this all pretty much applies the same thing. So the first thing, after we cut out the rusted area, I've ground all this down, the bare metal all the way around where I'm gonna be attaching my new panels to. And the next step is to make a paper template for the new sheet metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do that. All right, so what I've done here is taken a piece of uh, painter's uh, paper and I've just attached it over with some tape over the quarter panel. And I'm gonna take this red marker, I'm just gonna outline the, uh, the edge of this panel. Now you could do this with uh, construction paper or uh, cardboard, you know, thin cardboard, whatever you want. But I got this paper, I'm just gonna use this. So I'm just gonna draw a line along the edge and try to follow along. I can press this down and see a little bit here, but I'm gonna try to follow along here. You can probably see the light through here. I'm just gonna go whoop, and draw it right around here. I get up to the front edge. I'm gonna put a dotted line on the edge because I need to make a bend there. And then I'll just run this out like another half inch, the piece that rolls over. Here's the bottom of the, uh, the rocker. Make a dotted line on the wheel well where I'm going to be hammering around. And I'll just trim it, trim it large. I'm going to flange this panel. I'll show you that in a minute. When we do the sheet metal, we're going to flange the panel to slip up behind the existing metal. So I'm actually going to cut this about a, a quarter inch bigger than this red line all the way around. And we'll lay that out in the sheet metal and then we'll work our way down and have the flange tool we'll press in. So let me cut this out and we'll go ahead over to the sheet metal and we'll cut this out. So what I'm gonna do now is I got a piece of 18 gauge sheet metal. I'm gonna go lay this out on the sheet metal, trace it out and cut the sheet metal out and then I'll bring the patch back over here. If you wanna see a video about how to cut, a fast way to cut sheet metal, you can go up here. All right, so I cut my patch out and I'm gonna go ahead and Lay it back up in here and we'll start to get the look and the feel of it. But So I'm going to go ahead and start making some marks for uh, where I want to do some bending and cutting and fitting. And the first thing I want to do is bend an edge on here. And I've got to cut it here where, where the rocker panel start, uh, or the jam stops. i got to cut it here. This will fold around the jam. The bottom will get welded to the rocker panel. And then we're going to go ahead and flange this all the way around and it'll slip up behind this panel. I went and I ground the inside of this quarter panel all clean too. So what I'll do when I get done welding this in here is I'll take seam sealer and I'll seam seal the inside edge of this all the whole way so no moisture can get down behind the panel and cause like a chance for rust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, lay out some lines on this and we'll start flanging it. All right, so, so I broke up the front edge for the seam here for the door jam. Now I'm gonna go on the inside of the panel and I'm gonna trace out the actual sheet metal gap. That way it'll allow me to trim this upper edge down to a, exactly a quarter inch or so to give me room to get the flange, flange tool on there straight. So I've got this clamped on in place. I mean, see it's looking pretty good. It fits on here nice. It's touching the bottom of the rocker. It's fitting real good on the seam all the way up here. Just, just laying in here two little clamps on it. So I'll go ahead and I'll mark the back of this. So I just trace to the marker the edge of this panel to this panel so we can pull it off here and we'll look and see what it looks like. There we go. So you can see the actual overlap here. I'm just going to go ahead and trim this up nice to get the flange tool which is here. The flange tool is a pair of vice grips with a stepped edge on it and what it does is it squeezes on the metal and it creates a flange. Okay so I trimmed this up all nice nice here. And we'll go ahead now and get the flanging tool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flange this. Like. 
And you can see, I just put, put a flange in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and go across the whole panel now. That's a workout, but if you can see, we put a nice flange all the way around here. It's not quite deep enough, so I'm going to go over it again real fast, and then we'll come back up and fit it up here. So I'm just going to hit it again, and then we'll, we'll fit it up. That's quite a workout when it's 85 degrees and humid out, but there I went and I reflanged it and put a, put a nice heavier flange on it, so it'll be not plenty for the overlap. So like I said, these are just vice grips with a, with a jaw welded in them to flange. They work all, work all right for uh, small panels like this. You gotta watch so you don't bump your uh, set here because it tends to get off real easy. If you're doing a bigger panel, I would suggest they probably have pneumatic ones these you can buy or if you had a bead roller you could put in uh, step dies on a bead roller and probably roll a flange in it. But for the small panel these work all right, just, just a lot of squeezing. Now like I said, it's gonna slip up inside here underneath I gotta pull this panel out just a little bit. Try not to pinch my finger. Oh. And you can see how this draws up behind it. Um, what I do need to do is trim this where it comes up here to the uh, touchy outside. I gotta trim this back for the uh, the overlap. But this looks like it's gonna be good so let me just go ahead and mark this. Let me go ahead and do that just with the tin snips, which appear to be lost. Now I should be able to slip this, aha! Slip this right up and under. Like so, bam! Look at that. Man, it fits like a glove. So you can see your overlap. Hold on, let me zoom in if we can see the overlap. Hold on, whoa! All right. So you can see the overlap here created by the uh, step jaws. So when we clamp the panel together, I'm just going to go ahead and weld in the gap, and then when you grind this down, it'll be a flush to the panel. Here, so what we're going to do on the last piece is I'm going to cut some notches in this, and I'm going to hammer this around to form this wheel well, but I had to cut a notch in the corner to accommodate where the rocker panel ends here. So I've got my front edge here made all nice, it fits up. I think this is going to work out just dandy. The bottom just gets tack welded to the outside of the rocker panel here, and then there's a rocker panel molding that goes on here to cover that. So there's two schools of thought on how to attach these panels. I like to fully weld a seam when I do it, but I know I guess a lot of people just tack weld it like every half inch and then use like Duraglass or all metal uh, waterproof body filler to do it. And uh, this car here, the Thomas Rocket car, is going to be sitting in a museum. A chance of moisture and uh, uh, salt and all that corrosion if you're in a salt state isn't an issue on this car. So I think I am going to go ahead and try just the tack method, tack it around every half inch, and then I'll seam seal the inside on the inside of the quarter of the seam, and then I'll do a waterproof filler here on the seam on the outside, and I think it should be good for the life of the car. Before I do this, I'm just going to take the shrinker stretcher, and I'm going to put a little sword lock in this to match the, the curve down here, and then we'll be ready to start tacking it in place. So here's the shrinker stretcher. It's an old Eastwood unit from the 80s, but what you got here is just dies in here and they have little ribs and they pinch the metal and either pull it or push it to either shrink it or stretch it. So I want to shrink this on the inside, which will put a crown in this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the tool like this and just push down a little bit some pressure like this and it'll put a little crown in the panel. That's probably good because that's not much. It's going to be hard to see 
I think, but you can see this little curve here. So what it did is it squished the metal and it just bunched it together on the inside which drew this panel around and put this curve in it. So that's probably enough to match the door. I'm going to stop right there. I'll reinstall it here and get it clamped down and fire up the welder and we'll start tacking. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and start tacking her up. So I'm just going to take the MIG welder and uh, tack here by the clamps and we'll just slowly work our way around the panel. Here we go. I'm going to tap the metal down tight every time I make a tack near it. Keep the gap nice and tight. There's light taps. clamps around. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tack all the way around until I get it all uh, buttoned up or about every half inch. Okay, what I did here in the back, I'm gonna make my roll around this thing. So I did is I did a bunch of relief cuts in this and I'm just gonna hammer this piece around and wrap it right around the uh, square bar here for the wheel well. I'm just gonna work it a little at a time. With the relief cut stool, we'll get the metal somewhere to go to go while it's making the shape around here. Then I'll weld it back together and trim it when we're done. You see, I rolled nice right around the corner here to make this corner piece. I'll just weld these up, and then trim off the excess back here, and it'll be a perfect, perfect lap back there. All right, I got it all welded up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the grinder and just grind all this up and clean it up nice with the flap wheel. All right, so there we go. Got it all ground up nice. It's pretty pretty straight. Maybe a little high spot right here. We can hammer it down a little bit, hammer it down a little bit, but overall it came out pretty good. So like I said before, I'm trying out the tack and go method. So I'm gonna clean this up with a wire wheel in here, get all the burn marks out of there, and then uh, use some waterproof uh, fill or either Duraglass or all metal to skin this seam and seal it up tight, and then you can use polyester filler on the rest of it. But let me show you the inside of the quarter, what the overlap looks like. So this is the inside of the driver's side, and you can see how the flange overlaps the original material. I've got it ground up nice, and I'm going to go ahead and use some seam sealer to seal that up. So there won't be any chance of moisture getting in there. And then also seal up the gap on the wood seam sealer down there where it ties into the rocker panel, so there's no way for moisture to get in and create any rust later. So thanks for watching this little tutorial on how to patch a quarter panel. Um, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, hit the little blue bell for alerts. Got plenty of videos coming out every week here at the Quick Speed Shop. I try to do two to three videos a week on different projects. This is the Thomas Rocket Car. Please go check out the playlist for that. There's over 25 videos on the restoration, floors, rockers, rear wheel wells, trunk floor. Whatever we're building, come check it out. Appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you next time at the Quick Speed Shop.